Okay, my God, I hope this one works. I wasn't getting any sound down. No, I guess it looks like I am. Uh, Fiber Helmet Shell. I was trying to tell you about the road trip. Road trips used to, uh, well, hell, I used to go everywhere, you know. I live in Florida, it used to be Key West, and I'd either go on my motorcycle or my conversion van all the way to Utah to see my parents and grandparents. And so now I had a, you know, I had one of those things with my spouse, and I feel like since my health is getting worse and worse, if you saw the last video, a lot of it is because I can't get medication the way I should. Because if I stay on a, you know, a regimen, my body kind of responds to it. Then you make me go through withdrawal and, well, I was in bed for about three weeks. Um, my brain didn't work well enough to get on the computer and only fibro people will understand this because dementia people are too old to use the computer. Hey, that was funny. Maybe I should become a comedian next. Because I certainly can't be a musician. I tried. You know, I tried. I tried to do a gig uh, to raise funds for someone that died. Yeah, I used to be good. I'll show you some videos later if you want to see them. But. Anyway, my road trip took me... This is the third day. I got from Fort Lauderdale to Hope Sound, Florida, which is about two hours away. <laughs> now, I did take a one a because, you know, if you're going to go, it might as well be pretty, right? Especially since you don't know how far you're going to get. So, I got kind of far, and then I decided, well, here's a nice place to park. I have a conversion van. It's a Ford 95 conversion van, and you know, it's got everything I need. It's got a nice little bed. It's got a toilet, which is nice, because you know as well as I do, <laughs> it's hard to go into places. You gotta open the door, and the doors are usually really heavy, and then you gotta walk in and walk out, Normal people don't understand this, but you guys do. So I'm in my Ford Excursion van, and it might be because it's a 1995, but Hilton, you were a great host. I, you just didn't know it. I um, parked my van there, had a view of the ocean. I opened the windows, watched a video, and slept the whole day. Just like I do at home. But then at night, I got some energy, and... Didn't quite hear what I needed to hear from my partner, even though it's probably all my guilt that's causing this. So I went north and uh, got tired. So I stopped in Hope Sound, Florida, and slept by this beautiful park. It's gorgeous there. And then I thought, well, I better get up. People might think it's strange or whatever. You know, it's a van. Isn't that amazing? I'm doing the American dream. I'm getting in my car, van, hitting the open road, stopping where I want to, taking pictures. I take some really good pictures if you want to see them. And I've been painting pictures. I started painting since I can't perform. This is... Fibro Hill, Michelle! Woo! Actually, it's a really big picture. You can't see it because I'm sitting here in the van. I hope another cop doesn't show up. But I started painting since I couldn't perform anymore. And, um... Anyway, the places I felt safe enough to stop and sleep are the places that people are going to call the cops on me. <laughs> what does America become? You know... It, it, it's just frightening. And fibromyalgia people, we need to educate other people. We need to help other people. I want to do, actually, a tour around. If I could ever um, have the energy to, uh, you know, make some uh, handouts and go to places and drive around to them and talk to people because cops don't know what this entails. 
Your family doesn't know what this entails. Your friends does not know what this entails. You you tell me a fibromyalgia and you think they understand, but then they want you to walk to a restaurant that's uh, six blocks away, which may as well be 60 miles away, because walking around the block is enough to kill you. Anyway, Fiber on Michelle. I hope I got some sound on this one because I tried seven before. Uh, Bonnie, thinking about you. Bye-bye.